Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube video. My name is John Hammond, and I'm back looking at the Python challenge. Uh, I think we left off on level 20 now, so if we just kind of jump into it, the link was PC Hex idiot 2html and the password that we've got so far, our username is butter and password is fly for butterfly. Okay, so this is level 20. Um, private property beyond this fence. Okay, but inspecting it is carefully allowed. Nothing else on this page, nothing else I can select. Checking out the source, I hit control U there, just to view it in the web browser. Um, the title is go away. Uh, Probably nothing in the CSS style sheet, no, as usual. Um, font color, nothing there. Unreal.jpg, but inspecting it is carefully allowed. So all we've got is this picture. There's nothing else here. Um, all right, well, let's play with this picture, I guess. Maybe there's something special in that. Um, I'm going to put this in the pie challenge folder that I have. Let's make a directory for it, and let's move everything that's not... Um, that everything we get for level 19 into 19. Whoa. And let's get 20 back out of there. So now we can get into 20. Cool. Um, let's just take this image and W get it. So it's downloaded here. Oh, we need to specify authentication. Is there a way to do that with W get? Off. This is a rabbit hole. Let's just view the image and save it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right, we put this in PyChallenge level 20, unreal.jpg. All right, so now we've got it, but I'm not, before I jump into like real Python stuff, I want to just do some basic analysis on it. I ran strings, pipe it into less. Nothing peculiar here. Exif tool. No comments, nothing interesting. Nothing nothing hidden in it in hex edit. How do I leave hex edit? <laughs> Is it just like Q? Alright, control X worked, whatever. Um Nothing in there but itself. Pretty boring. Man, I feel like I got nothing here. Um, what else can I do? Z-Steg? Oh, it's a JPEG image, so I can't work with that. Um, what about Steg Solve? Maybe it's a classic steganography thing. Oh. What is that at the top? I like the zero and one pins. It's not like it's trying to put any flag or anything, any secret or password in there. Okay. I don't know, because that doesn't look like, it doesn't look like text or anything. That doesn't look like it's trying to, like, binary or any other encoding. It just looks like nothing. Jeez. What else do we got? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I hit the control shift K. I hit the network tab on accident. Or the developer console. Oh, the network tab. The de these are the developer tools, like, stuff that you can use in your browser to, like, explore things. But the network tab is a good idea. Actually, I didn't mean to accidentally stumble upon that. So this is the image. Let's blow this up a little bit. Check it out. Cookies, obviously nothing. Parameters, nothing. Obviously, we're just getting the image returned. But headers, content type, JPEG. Quests. Why is the response coming with a content range header? It's like bytes are zero to... Is it giving me like a fraction of this of this file? Content range bytes zero to 30202. Am I only getting a piece of it? Can I mess with that? 
Can I change that? Edit and resend. All right, it's not in there. HTTP content range request. Can I modify that? Okay, but range with the same kind of style, the same like syntax or the semantics for asking for it. So not content range, but just range when we make the request. Can I do that? Um, yeah, okay, no, it's still, in, it's still in this thing. Range, bytes equal, whoa, what did it just do? Bytes, what the f... Bytes equals... Oh, how many, how many did we get to begin with? It was like two zero three zero two zero two or something? What if we give it just one above? Can I, like, not terminate it? Or how much, how much was there originally? Three zero two zero two from uh, this amount. Whoa, I want to copy and paste this. Let me edit this. Copy, All right, edit and send. That doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, I guess that kind of helps. That is what I wanted. Why does it keep like jumping me, my cursor? Bytes equals 30203, so we move a bit on. And I will send that 206. That's a different response. What is that? Some base 64 string? What? All right, let's use Python to decode that. Import base64, I'm gonna say as B, so I don't have to type as much. B.B64 decode. Why don't you respect my privacy? <laughs> what? Okay, and that's something, right? We're making progress. 30236, now it's only giving me like another fraction. What I asked for a whole ton, how come it didn't give me all that? Well, let's do the same thing that we just did. 3026, three, two, two, three, six. So we were at 237 now. Send that. Get another 206. What is that HTTP uh, 206? Partial content. Oh, that's cool. Only it has requested a range of data and got a range back. That's kind of neat. All right, what is the response here? More base64. Let's get idle to decode that. B64 decode. We can go on in this way for, oh gosh. Okay, so this is gonna be something we have to loop, right? Probably would have to do this in Python, it being the Python challenge, that makes sense. Grr. Okay, um, let's subble um, level20.py, and let's just get into it. Get rid of all the old stuff, and let's just jump in, get our shebang line going, get the requests module. Um, let's steal the URL, so I can request.get URL. Call this response stored as an object. Print response dot text. This should error out. Oh, is it giving me? Oh, it's build view is on right now. I don't want build view. No. Disable build view, please. Now I don't have a build menu whatsoever. What the heck? Okay, great. We're just going to work with build view. I should do this in like Sublime Text 3. Let's do that. Let's do that instead. Let's do Sublime Text 3. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Doing crazy stuff. Okay, now I have a regular build display. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's path in, pass in this, this auth tuple. Butter and fly, so we get the passwords that we need. Authenticate. And... 
not getting anything because it's not plain text. It is a binary file. Does it, is it, it is getting the content, right? Repper. Repper, burper. Okay, yeah, so it's getting definitely getting the file. It's just not going to display an image or a JPEG image in my build view, whatever. Let's see what uh, headers we've got to begin with. Um, you can access your request object in your response object. So you can see like, okay, what were the original headers that went for this? Um, I'm just going to steal this so I can work with them. Original headers equals this guy. Let's put this above and let's just call this headers so we can work with it. So headers equals headers, good. And when we have our response, what is the response headers? The content range is this thing. Okay, so let's just get content range. Okay, so this is like what we are working with to begin with, but we want to just get the start, get like the next step in what we can access. And can we give it all of this? So end equals this, and because that won't change, like that's the whole length of the file, right? At least supposedly. So next piece, I guess, equals the headers. Let's just cut this up with some disgusting split stuff because regular expressions just aren't going to work out for me because they never tend to. So next piece, print the next piece. Now that we've cut that up, okay. Um, let's cast that to an integer and add one to it. Cool. So now we can say our headers can have a new key range equals bytes equals dollar sign i all the way to dollar sign i end. So so we can, uh, I'm sorry, not dollar sign, percent sign, format specifiers here. So we get next piece going to the end. And now let's make the same request and just print it out, I guess. Let's see what we get. Why don't you respect my privacy? Cool. So that is happening through every single time. Let's print out what we're looking at or what range we're at every single time so we can watch it grow. Let's iterate through this. Just turn the crank on this since it'll happen one after the other, supposedly. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Looks like it ran through it. Why don't you respect my privacy? We can go on this way for a really long time. Stop this, invader, invader. Okay, invader, you are inside now. <laughs> okay. Invader, invader. That's the only thing that is being broadcasted here. I guess we can try and see. Can I get to invader.html? Yes, that's you. Great. That doesn't help me whatsoever. What about um, what about like privacy. HTML. Nope, not a thing. Inside. Nope, not a thing. Okay, must be invader then. But that there was nothing there. There was nothing in that web page. It's literally blank text. Great. What else can we do? These, the bytes that like change, how much, how, what is this difference? 36 bytes in that. Um, 46 bytes in that or something like that. I don't know. I'm not doing this quick math. Okay, so that doesn't help. It's just, it's literally just a segment. Can I... 
work with any of these other things. We started from zero, got to this thing. What about what about after the length? Is that a thing that we can do? Let's go from n to plus one. Oh, but will it will it go to the end? What will it, what will it do? We only have to do try this once. Whoa! What the heck? Bytes two one two three four five six. So we we did one from the end. We took another step from the the very very end, not the long one. It says s rubber knee What is this? Is this backwards? The password is your new nickname in reverse. <laughs> the password for what? Password for the next level? Invader? Is Invader my... Is Invader my nickname? Redavni? <laughs> That's Invader backwards. No, not a thing. Okay. What the heck? Is that like four another authentication, but we're accessing the page. It's not another, not an authentication thing. There's no password that's asking me for a new like authentication thing. Oh, man. The password is your new nickname in reverse. Okay. What do we do now? Can we... Go reverse. Because where are we now? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe there are other requests after this one. Let's send this. Nope. Goodness gracious. Okay, now we're just spamming <laughs> the server thing backwards. Uh, P kill Python. Stop. Stop it. Okay, good. Can I go reverse of the end where we were or something? Oh. No, that brings me next to the next one. What about what about this guy? See, that's different than the end. Yeah, that's a different number. That next piece, what if we go backwards from that? How we look? Oh, whoa, okay, and it is hiding at this number. Can we just go to this number? Let's use that at the end. Bytes, whoa, okay, it's hanging. What is all that? Okay. Some binary stuff. Those are some, those are some bytes. <laughs> those are some real bytes, PK. What is that? This is, okay, clearly a file. Let's go ahead and steal all of this. Let's download this whole thing. And just find out what this thing is. Um, we don't need any of the range anymore. Let's just take this response.txt and put it in something. Uh, write. And let's write the response.txt. Run. It's thinking. Error. Okay. Cannot encode ASCII code. Oh. Do I... Well, you just can't put the text in there? Oh, it might just need the content. So the raw, yeah, the raw stuff. Okay, cool. That looked like it worked. What do we got? Have we got something? We got something. <laughs> All right, cool. What is this thing? Oh, it's a zip archive. Something.zip. Oh, I actually need that to be the destination. Let's unzip something.zip readme.txt password. Oh, okay, this must be the password that I was talking about. Ridavni, right? Ridavni, invader backwards. Ridavni. Nice. What is this? Readme.txt. Yes. Nice. What is this? This is really level 21 in here. And yes, after you solve it, you'll be in level 22. Oh, okay, so I guess that's, that's the end of level 20. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, that was fun. A little bit of a puzzle here with the content range. I've never seen that stuff before. 
that was a funny, complete accident <laughs> when I accidentally hit that network tools. That was some cool reconnaissance. I've never seen that header before. I've never seen that HTTP thing, and being able to mess with that was pretty neat in Python. I'm glad we were able to crank it through with that while loop um, and keep experimenting with it. So, wow, geez, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, looks like we're jumping to level 21 in the next video, but thanks for sticking with me for level 20. All right, hope you're enjoying the Python Challenge series. See you soon.